Hello. Guadalupe. There you are, Miss Carolina. I didn't see you last night. You're muted, Miss Carolina. I am sick, teacher. Oh no, what is wrong? I am sick. Um, um, today uh, don't work, don't work. Did work. I, I, I didn't work today. I didn't work today because I feel so bad. Oh no, I'm sorry. And you're still in class. That's great. <laughs> I I I hope uh, um, tomorrow be better. I hope so too. Miss Irene, uh, welcome, Guadalupe, <laughs> Mr. William. Nice seeing you. Okay, we're gonna get started. Let me share my screen with you. Can you hear me well? <coughs> yes, I yes, can. Yes, yes, teacher. Everything good? Awesome. Let's start. Uh, Guadalupe, can you read the objective, please? Okay. In this class, you will not, not, not decide. You will notice. Yes. <laughs> notice. Mm -hmm. Okay. In this class, you will no notice this stress par parents in request, request with two part verbs. Teacher, but I have a question. Sorry. In, in the exercise 1.4, I have a mistake. And uh, let me see, let me see. I'll take a picture. 1.4, yes, we did, it. we did it together last night. It was a little confusing. Because there's more than one applicable. And correct answer. Yes, in, in seven, uh, seven um, answer, yeah. Uh, what is the, the the answer? I I type in the but <coughs> uh, it's a mistake. It's okay. Yeah, can you send me a screenshot so I can help you personally? Anyway, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna okay. upload. I will upload the class to YouTube so you can also check the answers there, but send it to me and I will try to help you see if I remember. Okay, so let's watch the video. Notice how we're going to stress. Okay. How we're going to stress the... Very nice. <laughs> yes, everybody mute the microphone, please. Mute the microphone. Very good, thank you. Ms. Carolina, mute the microphone. All right, let's watch. Remembering that only understanding grammar is important, but also pronunciation is as important. Please listen and practice the stress in both part verbs. It's good, the video. I don't miss him. Uh, no se escucha, teacher. Hi again. Remember not only understanding grammar is important, but also pronunciation is as important. Please listen and practice the stress in two part verbs. Pronunciation. Stress in two-part verbs. 
Part A. Listen and practice. Both words in a two-part verb receive equal stress. Pick up the toys. Turn off the light. Pick the toys up. Turn the light off. Pick them up. Turn it off. Now that you have listened to the stress, go ahead and practice saying the following two-part verbs. Part verbs. Pronunciation. All right, let's practice. Hi again. Remember, not only understanding grammar is important. Part verb. Receive. All right, let's practice the intonation of the of the phrasal verb. All right. <laughs> there, I muted it. That was so loud. All right, pick up the toys. Repeat. Pick, pick up, up the, the toys. toys. Turn off the light. Pick up the toys. Pick up the toys. Turn off the light. Turn off the light. Turn the light off. Turn the light, the light off. off. Right, you go like, turn the light off. So you reduce this one. Turn the light off. Turn the, turn light, off. the, light, turn off. the light off. Perfect. Like, pick them up. 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 Right, don't pick, emphasize pick, this. Pick them up. Pick, pick them up. Pick them up. Faster and at a lower tempo, right? Next, turn it off. 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 off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Right. All right, let's read these. <coughs> Who wants to start? Let me see, Mr. Franklin, are you there? Yes, teacher. All right, can you read the first one, please? Pick up our things. Uh -huh. Pick up our things. Again, right, the noun has to have emphasis as well. Very good. Uh, Angel, number two. Uh, go, cut it out. Mm -hmm. Cut it out. All right, reduce this one and emphasize. Cut, cut it out. Cut it out. Cut it out. Very good. Cut it Thanks. out. out. <laughs> Mr. Gutierrez, go ahead. <coughs> Drop me off. Very good. With a film. Drop me off. Yes. Drop Turn me off. the radio off. Turn the radio that's going to be. Turn Mr. the radio Mauricio. off. Number four, Mr. Mauricio. Turn the radio up. The radio. Turn the radio. The radio up. Uh -huh. Radio. Turn the up. radio up. Right. Ana Hidon. <coughs> Put that phone down. Say it again, faster. Put the phone down. Uh -huh. Put the phone down. Put the phone down. Put, Put the, the phone, phone down. down. Very good. Okay, is that clear? I'm gonna give you an example of why. Mute the microphone, everyone, please. Everybody on mute. Everybody unmute. All right. Look, I'm going to give you an example of why <coughs> the stress is important here. All right. Look at this. What is the difference between? Can you see? It's kind of small, isn't it? Yes. Makeup. Anyway, look, what is the difference in pronunciation? Pronunciation. What is the difference in intonation, actually? Because one is the, you know, right? The, mm, 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 mm. Yeah. And this is a phrasal verb that means to invent. 
invent something. So the only difference between the, the two of them is the intonation. How are you going to pronounce this? This is makeup. This one is emphasized. Makeup. Makeup. Yes. makeup. And this is makeup. Both of them are at the same level. Makeup. The second makeup. one, repeat. Makeup. 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 This is makeup. 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 Make yes. Make so what are some examples of makeup? Um, it's a blush, right? You have a lipstick and so on. Okay. That's why you have to practice the intonation. All right. Let's continue. Any questions? No question. No? Okay. Read the objectives. Great. Mute the microphone, please, everyone. Read the objective. Miss Selena. Okay. Lesson objectives. Participants will practice making requests using models can, cool, would, and would you mind gerunds. Yes, what is a gerund? It's ing. Gerund. ing. Excellent. ING. Very good. All right, we're gonna watch this video. Let me share with you. Hold on. Hi, we're about to make. Can you hear and see the video? Yes. Make request using model verbs. Notice when to use the simple form of a verb and when to use a gerund. Stay around for more explanation. Request with modals. And would you mind? Modal plus simple form of verb. Can you turn the stereo off? Could you close the door, please? Would you please take your garbage out? Would you mind plus gerund. Would you mind turning the stereo down? Would you mind closing the door, please? Would you mind not putting your garbage here? When we talk about requests, it is okay to say, please turn the stereo off, to people we know well. We should use a more polite request, however, for neighbors and strangers. Models become more formal and more polite from can to could to would. Notice the structure. Model plus subject plus simple form of verb. Usually, we add the word please at the end of the request when using could and we use please in the middle of the sentence to make a stronger emphasis on the request with would. However, not putting to people we know well. We should use a more polite request, however, for neighbors and strangers. Models become more formal. All right, notice this. I would like you to write it because whenever you ask for something, we go from the least polite to the most polite one, all right? So when you say, when you tell someone, can you come here, please? It's not so polite. Could is a little bit better and would is even more polite. Is that clear? Yes. Formal and more polite from can to could to would. Notice the structure. Model plus subject plus simple form of verb. Usually, we add the word please at the end of the request when using could, and we use please in the middle of the sentence to make a stronger emphasis on the request with would. However, please may be omitted. Now, let's go over with would you mind. When we use the entire expression would you mind, the verb which follows must be a gerund. This is how it is formed. Would you mind plus gerund or verb plus ing plus complement? We want you to notice two things. The use of please at the very end of the request. Remember, you may or may not add it. And also notice a negative request. Would you mind plus not plus gerund or verb plus ing plus complement? Would you mind writing three unusual requests on our discussion box? I have one for you. Could you lend me your toothbrush? Go ahead and have fun. Verb 
which follows must be a gerund. This is how it is formed. Would you mind plus gerund or verb plus I? What, you, you couldn't watch it? All right, I don't know. Let's, let's make some requests, okay? What request could we write using would you mind? Or would you, uh -huh, yes, would you mind? Te importaría? Yes, but what examples can we write using would you mind? This is very polite. Uh -huh, help me make, write three examples. Would you mind to repeat the video? <laughs> you want to watch the video again? Repeating. Okay. ING. ING. Yes, remember that with would you mind, you have to use ING. Would you mind to repeat exact. it? No, no, no. It has to be ING. So I guess. Very, very inherent. Would you mind, would you mind repeating? Me. Repeating. Repeating. The, the video. The video, please. Uh -huh. And this is optional, right? Please. Please. Great. Okay, another example. Would you mind? Uh huh. Would you mind closing the door, please? Closing the door, great. Who is that? William. Okay, great. Would you mind closing the door? Awesome. All right, one more. Rina, can you help me? <laughs> Go ahead, Rina. Hello? I couldn't hear you well. Guys, mute, let's mute the microphone. Go ahead, Rina. Would you mind cooking the dinner? Cooking the dinner, okay, great. Guys, let's mute the microphone. I'm trying, hold on. It's loud. Got it. All right, would you mind cooking uh, the dinner? That's good. So is this clear? Don't forget to use ing when using would you mind, and this is the most polite one, okay? Questions? No questions. No teacher. No Let's question. do an exercise together, okay? And then we're going to practice using requests, but let's let's finish first. So number one, uh, help me out, Miss Irene, go ahead. Irene, you're muted. Sorry, teacher. There you are. <laughs> Go ahead. The, the official uh, answer is, uh, could you lend me $20? Uh, are you kidding? I don't have any cash. I'm really sorry. What did you say it was? Uh, are you kidding? I don't have any cash. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try with that one. Mm -hmm. That's kind of an impolite answer, isn't it? Next, Angel, number two. You're muted. Bella, no. Uh, uh, um, excuse me, teacher. It's okay. Uh, I'm, I'm really, I'm really sorry, but I'm busy. 
The second one, what is, can you read the statement as well, please? Can you get me a sandwich? The, read the, the question and the can answer. Can you get me a sandwich? Very good. Uh, Guys, let's mute the microphone. All right, I'm sorry, he says. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, but, but I'm busy. Great. Next, Carolina. Um, we're sorry we'll talk more quickly quickly no 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 sería Mm. Number number two, I'm sorry, I'll do it right away. Number two, teacher. Do you guys agree with number three? Number three. Uh -huh. What do you think, guys? <laughs> I think it's incorrect. Uh, in my case, teacher, I chose the last one. I chose the last one. Yes, the thing, Miss Carolina, is that it's asking this person to move to a new house. So you cannot uh -huh. like, do it right away. It's not like that of an instant thing. Mm, so it wouldn't make that much for sense. me um, um number two okay no yeah we're gonna no, try Carolina. With sure no problem i glad to i do oh. glad to all right okay. miss gabriela number four would you mind not sitting here uh-huh so we're gonna put not before the gerund, when it's negative, right? I don't see the last answer. It's here. Also, try to get on the platform right now, please. Everyone should be on the platform doing the exercise at the same time. Are you on the platform, guys? Yes, sorry, I didn't realize this hit was taken. I didn't realize. Number three. The seat was taken. The seat was taken. It was taken, number three. I think the number three, sorry, I didn't realize it. The seat was taken. I didn't realize. Very good. No. Okay. no. Yes, try to access the platform and work <coughs> with me. That's the idea that we are advancing all, right, all together. Next, Franklin, number five. Could you move your car from a space? Okay, and what would be the answer? Number two. Sorry, guys. Guys, mute the microphone. I think it's holding. Mr. Angel, is it muted? Yes. Number two. Gabriel, I think it's your microphone. It's, not, it's noisy. Hold on, guys. Gabriela, please mute the microphone, guys. Thank you. Okay, number two, I'm sorry, I'll do it right away. Yes, perfect. Number six, Selena. Can you move the, the screen, please? Number six. 
Mm -hmm. Show the screen. Would you mind not talking so loudly? So loudly. This is loud. Loudly. 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 Very good. Loud. Okay. What would number? Uh -huh. Number one. Number one. It's number one. Sorry, we'll talk about quickly. We're sorry. We all talk more quickly. Quietly. 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 With me, guys. This is loudly. Loudly. Quietly. 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 Yes, Quietly. they're in their opposite. Very good. Let's see if those are the right answers. Yes, everything good. Good job. We did great. Okay, now I would like us to practice. Okay, what are some of the most common favors that people ask for? Uh huh. What do you think? Most common favors? Most common for fruits. Uh -huh. We're going to make a list right now. Help me, guys. Most common favors, common favors. people ask for. Uh huh. Let's make a list quickly. People ask for so that we can practice. Think, think, think. Tell me. Borrow money. Aha, uh -huh, there you go. That is one of the most common ones in the United States. I will show you that. So, lend money. Okay, another one. Right. Sorry. Right. Right. What is that? Ah, can you read, can you give me a ride to my house? <laughs> okay, to give a ride. Yes, that is common. What else? And money. I'm gonna leave it in infinitive. An uh, hour. Ah, till the time, right? Very good. I need us to make eight. All right, quickly. Get, think, think, think. get out. To get out. Really? Yes. Get out. Really? Most common favors. Get out. No. What about books or notebooks at school? Books, right? Borrow the books. Uh -huh, exactly. Books. What else? Or more? <laughs> Um, ubication in the rest restroom. Ah, okay, that's a favorite. Where is the uh -huh, the 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 restroom? The location of the restroom. Okay, great. Almost done. What else? Anything else? And the Wi-Fi password. Yes, that is perfect. <laughs> Why I pass them. <laughs> that is the most one of the most common ones. Provide the guys the microphone, microphone. Wi-Fi. Password. There you go. Password. <coughs> Very good. Um but in the check chest leave. Okay, to bring the the check. What else? One more and we're done. Three, six, seven. Yes, one more, guys. We're almost, almost done. Um, it's, it's give a glass of water. Glass water? of water. Ah, ask for a glass of water. About the offers. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I'm going to replace it. So a glass <coughs> of water. And speak. Speak more slowly. Speak louder. About the difference too. Okay. Great. So what are this is the exercise, guys. Pay attention. Pay attention. <laughs> uh, uh, we're going to work with these, all right? So what are the three forms that we're learning on how to ask for favors? We learned three. Tell me. What are they? Mm 
nobody remembers, we're going to be using, hold on. We're going to be using, <coughs> oops, hold on. Could you mean? And could, what else? Three forms. Could you mean? What could, no. would, and could you mind? Would you mind? And one more. Can. Can. Right. So, in the order of polite, <coughs> which one is the most more, polite? is more polite. Would you mind? Would you mind is more would, polite. Would you mind? Would is more. Cool. Second, it. Number three, ten. Okay, what I want you to do, guys, is to ask a request, all right? Depending on the level of importance, then, Manny, do you think that we should use can, would you mind, or could? It's a delicate, you think? No. Yeah. Yes, lend yeah. money is yes. a delicate thing, right? It's a big favor. So yes. maybe we have to use would you mind depending would on you the mind? level of importance of the favor you're asking for. It not only depends on the person you're talking to, but it also depends on the size of the favor, okay? Or the importance of it. So I want you to ask <coughs> one request for each one of them, okay? Can somebody take a screenshot, please? And we're going to make the sentences. Here they are. The eight sentences. Take a screenshot. I'm going to send it to WhatsApp. Ready? Yeah. Yes? Okay. Let's work in pairs. And I'll send you the picture anyway. So accept the invitation, everyone. There it is. Ms. Guadalupe, accept the invitation, please. Everyone, the two of you. Hi. You have to click on accept the invitation. I sent you a message. I need you to work with your classmates. What is your name? Sir? I don't hear you, you're muted. What is your name? I don't hear you. Okay. Click on accept the invitation. I sent something. I'm going to try to send it to you again. Okay, but click on the message because you're the only one here. Click on the message. Accept. Aceptar. I understand. Yes. Okay.
Are you guys done? Sorry? Did you finish? Mm, how do you say nos faltan tres? <laughs> We're missing three. We're missing three. Yes, or we still have three ah, okay. to go. Okay, great. Okay. A book could be. Could you give me, giving, giving me, giving could me? You, yeah? Could you give me a book? No, uh, I don't know. Like giving me? Borrow your book. What? Repeat, could I please? borrow your book or could you lend me your book? Could you. Repeat the teacher, please. Let me write it. Could you. Could you borrow me a book? No, no, no. Could you lend oh, can me? Can you borrow? Can you lend me your book? I'm writing it. Or could I borrow? Because borrow is to could I borrow? Could I borrow? Could I borrow? Yes, your book. It's a, uh, it's a to my prestado. Could I yes, borrow? Exactly. Okay. Or oh, the another is lend me your book. Uh -huh. You lend me. I borrow. Okay. You let me. I borrow. You let me or I, or I borrow. Exactly. I'm going to give details about that later. Are you almost done? Almost done. Uh, money. Uh -huh. oh, no, 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 wait. Let me, uh-huh. Eh, ¿Cómo decirlo? <laughs> Depende de lo, lo que esté pidiendo, lo delicado que sea. In this case, for, for me, eh, would you mind, would you mind to give me a Wi-Fi password? Sorry, but uh, frankly, teacher. with with would you mind, you have to use the gerund. And the gerund. Yes. So would you mind giving me, providing me? Giving. Be careful with the, the, the conjugation, Franklin. Would you mind? Yes, yes. It's always Thank with God. ing. ing. I yes, and with could and um, can, it's infinitive. Tell me, Miss Anna. No. Um, when, when I use a cool mm -hmm. or, or cool or can't, it depends the person or... It depends on both things. It depends on the person and it also depends on the on the matter of the request. So it depends on the favor you're asking for and the person you're talking to. Both. Okay. Uh-huh. Did you finish? Okay. Thank you. Um the, yes. We finished. Done? Okay, we're gonna go back. Yes. Let's go back. We are now in the main session. All right. So I noticed some, some um, questions you had about this. What is the difference between borrow and lend? I borrow. Did you lend? Uh -huh. so well, when, you give, when you give something to someone and they have to give it back to you, what is that? Is that lend or borrow? When you give something, uh -huh. you use borrow. No. Teacher? No, it's lend. So, for example, I will lend you this pen. Okay. Right. And if I say, can I please, can you please, or no, can I borrow? Borrow is when you want to receive it. You ask for it because you want to receive it. Okay. That would be borrow. Don't confuse those. Is that clear? Yeah. Or give, borrow. Give lend. Borrow, borrow. is. Tomar oh. prestado. So can I borrow? Can I borrow fifty dollars, Carolina? <laughs> no. I think well, only fifty dollars. Can I borrow fifty dollars? Uh, it's okay. 
no problem. Make a transfer. Make a transfer, please. Exactly, money transfer through PayPal. <laughs> I have a question, teacher. Tell me. When you ask uh, the Wi-Fi password, what is better form to ask? Tell me or give me. Uh, it, it's up to you, actually. But we're going to say could, can, and would you, would you mind? Tell me. All right. Help me make some of them because uh, you were using the incorrect structure at some point. All right. We're going to use those three. So for the Wi-Fi password, we're going to say, what do you think, guys? Let's vote. Who says we should use could? Raise your hand. Let me see. Cool. Could. Could. Cool. Could, could, could. Could. Cool. 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 Can. Cool. can nobody the majority says could i think it would be it would be better to say could because it's not a big deal could you tell me could you, uh -huh. could can. you tell me can. what the uh, wi-fi password is what the uh me faltó el what uh -huh. could you We're tell good. me what the wi-fi password is Exactly. Okay. Vision, I have a question. Have yeah. a question. Good in, in the same sentence. Would you tell me what the Wi-Fi password is? Uh, uh, may I may I substitute the substitute the tell with the verb give? Yes, would we you can. tell would you give? Give me. Give me, would yes. You? I would say instead of that, I would say provide me with the Wi-Fi password. We have other options. Okay, the important thing is that this verb is in what tense, guys? In what form? Infinitive or gerund? This is in infinitive, infinitive. exactly. Infinitive. What about here? Let me see. In what case should we use would you mind? Let me see. Give a ride. Glass of water, lend money, maybe with the lend money, money right? So would you mind? In the in the in the the um um uh, glass the wa glass water glass of the water um uh, what is uh, the the better Ask. It depends on the situation, but maybe you would you mind or in the restaurant, for example. Uh, either or, it's up to you. Would you mind or could? For example, in my case, when I see my students, I tell them, "Would you mind giving me a glass of water?" Because I I don't feel that comfortable. Like I'm not ordering. It's not a restaurant. They're my students, so I say, "Would you mind giving would me?" You mind? Right. Guys, would you mind yeah. teacher okay? in the in, in the last <laughs> lending yes that's why i'm asking you guys is this correct no a, a no. and g lending. exactly with this is the only one you're going to use ing with okay this is gerund infinitive let's do one example ten something that is not teacher i have a question tell me the can uh will you mind and will is the same uh may if you if we say i may i go to the bathroom is the same will you will you no can i go to the bathroom or will i go to the bathroom the thing is that okay you're kind of mixing it up a little bit because this thing, look, that, that's important. Pay attention, guys, because this might be confusing at some point. But can, we can use it for abilities, for example, all right? We can use it to ask for permission. It's more formal. No, that doesn't have anything to do mm. right now. And it also works for asking for favors. Okay, so the question you're asking me, Gabriela, right? Who asked me that Yes, question? I... Yeah, I recognize your voice. So, Gabriela, the question you asked me is related to asking for permission, not for favors. Ah. Oh. And in that case, may I... May I... 
talk with you? <laughs> Imagine, may I talk with you? Tenemos que hablar. It sounds like that. So, or can I talk with you? The first one is more formal still, but that is a different model, all right? It's a different usage. Right now we're working with asking for favors. It also works to talk about a business, sure. guys, like I can swim for three hours. That's an ability. Or I can speak two languages, like all of you do. <coughs> all of you speak English and Spanish, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So we're talking about... Okay. Favors. One example with Ken. Mm -hmm. The time? Yep. Let's do one with the time. All right. Can you tell me the time? Please. Could you tell me the time? Could you tell me? It depends. Imagine you're asking your mother. Can you tell me the time, mother, please? Is that okay? I think it's okay. It's not a big favor and it's not a stranger. So it depends on those two factors, all right? Any questions? No? No. Do you feel like you have to practice a little bit more? Maybe you want to practice some, some more tomorrow? Yes, teacher. Yes, you need more practice. Okay, let me see. Um, meaning from this reading section, we're going to do it tomorrow. We don't have much time, so maybe, maybe we should make two more examples, and with that, we'll finish. All right, because we don't have time to finish the the reading. And tomorrow, I will think of something so that you can practice speaking using uh, using the models. All right. So tell me one more, guys. Imagine you're walking on the street and you talk to a stranger. What would you use with this? The location of the restroom. Restroom. Number use? two. Can, could, or... Would you mind? Would you mind? Mm, is it a big favor? Would. Could. Could. No, right? Maybe it would be better to say could. Could you tell me where? Could you tell me what is the restroom? You no, know, we learned last module that that is an indirect request. So where it the restroom is, it's not a question anymore. So if you are a lost, uh -huh. could you tell me where the restroom is? Yes. This is Missing the there. Where the restroom is. Yes. This is incorrect. Tell me where is the restroom. Remember, this is incorrect, guys, because this is not a question. Direct question, and you use the structure of the affirmative form. Okay. Very good. Uh, anything else you may want to ask? No? We'll continue practicing tomorrow, then. No more questions? No. Watch the no. video again if you can, please. <coughs> I know it was bad, it had bad quality. Okay, thank you very much then. I will see you again tomorrow. Please join us so that we can um, practice a little bit more, okay? Have a good night. Sleep well. Okay, good night. Thank, thank you. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.